Hey, what's up guys? It's time for a new tutorial today. And today we're going to do some small animation. So let's see what we're going to do. Well, small animation is always nice to have so you can feel out the whole scene. So it looks a little bit cooler. But for now guys, let's stop talking and jump into the tutorial. So let's start with a new composition here. So we go up to composition and make a new composition. And you can choose your own uh, size that fits your project. Like so, we press OK. And now we're going to make a star here. So we go to the star tool, like so. And we're going to set the fill to uh, none. So we set none. And we're going to set the stroke to a solid. And we're going to have around 7 pixels. 7 pixels is quite nice. Perfect, like so. And we're going to make a star around there and we're going to um, align this to the center like so so we align it and then we're going to go down to the transform here we're going to add some keyframes here we can start with the positions we set a keyframe at the start here and then we're going to go to one second around there and we can drag the star up to around there and then we can mark the two um, keyframes and press F9. So we get the easy ease on those keyframes. So we get a soft start and end with a star. Like so. And then can we um, go to the scale. We're going to add a scale here. We're going to have um, zero here. So we can set zero. And we're going to um, the end. And here we're going to have 100. So, so now that we have this animation from small to big perfect and now we're going to add some rotation we can set a keyframe here in the start and we go over one second here can we spin it around to uh, around yeah 230 around there like so that's fine and now can we set some opacity here we can um set it some keyframes before one second and we set a new keyframe and then we go forward and we change this to zero so it disappears like so so now that we have this animation here from the star perfect like so and now we can go over here and we can remove this layer control so we can see it better and now we're going to add an effect here we're going to add a glow i've already typed in glow here so we had the glow effect here so we drag this down to the the shape like so and then can we crank this up here let's see here we can drag this up a little bit we need to crank this up like so maybe we can decrease this because we don't want it to have too big maybe a little bit more let's see let's see maybe we have to change this a little bit so I think around there let's see how that works and now we are we done with that now can we mark this layer and we can go up to a layer and we're going to pre-compose the layer and we can call it the star comp yeah you have to set the move all the attributes to um, the pre-comp too so you don't forget that so now that we have this um, star that comes up like so but then we're going to change this mode to um, dissolve so we get those sparkling like so maybe we can crank up the um, glow a little bit so we go in here and we um, mark the layer and we can um, make this maybe a little bit bigger we can maybe decrease this like so let's see how that looks i think that's fine that's perfect like so so now that we have this star animation now we're going to do those exploding triangles so we go up to uh, the composition and make a new composition then we go up and take the polygon tool. So we choose the polygon tool and we drag out. If you already already have the three um, sides, so it's okay. But 
You can change the size by holding in the left mouse key and scroll with the mouse wheel. So can you make more or less sides on the polygon? But we want to have three sides as a triangle. So hold down the shift key so you um, don't um, spin around the triangle like so. And we make a small triangle like so. Perfect. And then can we align it to the center? Then can we go down and we can add a repeater? And we go down in the repeater and do the transformation. And we set this, let's say, with the position, so it'll be sealed there. So it doesn't um, rotate there. Um, so how are we going to make a rotation? We can set this to 45 degrees, like so. Then are we done here? Then can we go up to the polygon path, like so. And we're going to change the position. We're going to move this up like so. Perfect. We can hide that view. Show layer control sign like so. Now that we need, we need more um, copies. So we can uh, go down to repeat again and press 8. It looks at 8 copies. We need 8 copies like so. Then are we going to add some um, keyframes here? So we add a keyframe here. And then can we go one second forward? And then are we going to drag the triangles out like so? To over there, I think. That's fine. And then can we um, go back and set the keyframe for rotation? And we go back again. And here can we set um, three there? So does it spin three times? So perfect. Then can we do like so, we can um, mark the position uh, keyframes and press F9. So do we get a um, more soft start and end on the animation. So, that's fine. Then are we going to um, set the opacity here. So we can mark the layer and press T for opacity. And then can we set a keyframe there and we can go to one second. There will do be set zero, like so. So now that we have this animation, that it spins out and disappear. Now that we have, um, or now that we need to add a um, glow here. So type in glow and uh, drag in the, the effect like so. Let's see here, we're going to have a little bit glow here. Let's turn this up a little bit on there. I think there's fine. Let's see how that looks. So we mark the layer and we go up to layer and pre-compose as we go into pre-compose this layer. And we can call this um, star com and move all attributes like so. And here are we going to um, set this to dissolve so we get that sparkling. Like so, perfect. So now that we have our um, star animation here. And now it's time to make the dotted line. So we go up to the composition and make a new composition here. And we are going to take the pen tool. If we then hold on the shift key, so do we draw straight lines? So we press here and we press here and press here and we press here like so. So now that we have that dotted line, we have to see too that we don't have a fill like so. And we also have to see that uh, the stroke is solid. And I think uh, 32 is good enough for uh, the width of the of the line like so. And then can we go down to the shape and we go into the content and we're going to the shape and stroke. And here we're going to um, do some changes. We're going to have the start and end thin. And that do we do by um, changing these two, these two values over there. Like so. And then we're going to add the um, dotted line. Did. So here do we add dashes. So, so, so now do we have those dotted lines. So perfect. And now we're going to add a trim path here. So we go up to here and take a trim path. We go into the trim path. We can 
do like so. We hide this and we can see the dot line a little bit better. Like so. Now we're in, in the trim path here. And now we're going to um, make some um, keyframes. We're going to start here. We're going to set this uh, to um, zero. Like so. And we go forward one second. And we can set that to 100 again. Like so. So now that we have this start. And now we're going to um, change the end here. So we set the keyframe here. A couple of frames uh, before one second. We do the same here. And here that we set this to 100 like so. So it disappears. And now that we have this animation that moves along like so. Perfect. And now we're going to add a glow to this layer. So we select the layer. And we go to um, effects and presets and uh, type in glow. I've already done that here. So we just drag out the effect like so. And here do we see here. What can we do? I think around there is good enough. I think that's fine. And now that we do so that we um, hold on the alt key and uh, press here on this icon like so and then can we type down here we're going to type um, wiggle um, when we see the wiggle so can we just enter so does it add it for us and then can we um, let's see here we have to add the um, 9,3 the 9 is um, the frequency and the tree is uh, how much it should change the value so let's see here prep it we'll see how does that look that looks fine so there do we have that flashing line and there do we have some small animation that you can use in your product and i have some other ideas for small animation like this so if you don't want to miss those videos don't forget to subscribe and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Bye for now guys. Or not.